We finally have one mystery solved in the curious case of Republican congressman and federal criminal defendant George Santos. The freshman from New York was indicted last month on 13 criminal counts, including wire fraud, money laundering, theft of public funds, and lying to the House of Representatives. Santos pleaded not guilty to all charges and was released to go back to his job in Congress on a $500,000 bond. But he's refused to say exactly who paid to bail him out of jail. NBC News and other news organizations requested that the court make public the names of the bond guarantors. And the court did just that today. We now know that George Santos's father and his aunt paid the bond. According to court documents, Santos's father and aunt did not have to provide any money up front. It's unclear how they intend to pay the bond if Santos violates the terms of his bond. The New York Times reports Santos' father lives in New York and previously worked as a house painter. His aunt works as a mail handler for the Postal Service. And federal elections data shows that Santos' father and aunt both donated thousands to his congressional campaign. Here is what George Santos said about his family's ability to pay the bond. See, that's a little amazing. That's, the, that's actually that's exactly that's exactly the reason that I chose to keep their identity secure. My dad's an honest working man, as is my mom. If known liar George Santos believes his father is quote an honest working man, how would he define himself? House Republicans continue to support George Santos, however. They voted to block a resolution to expel Santos from Congress last month and instead sent the issue to the House Ethics Committee. But yesterday, all Republicans linked arms with George Santos to do Donald Trump's bidding. The Republican House voted along party lines to censure Congressman Adam Schiff for his role in investigating Donald Trump. Congressman Schiff said this about the censure. To my Republican colleagues who introduced this resolution, I thank you. You honor me with your enmity. You flatter me with this falsehood. You who are the authors of a big lie about the last election must condemn the truth tellers and I stand proudly before you. Your words tell me that I have been effective in the defense of our democracy. Speaker McCarthy chooses to occupy the resources of Congress for two straight weeks on this hollow sop to the MAGA crowd. McCarthy would spend the nation's time on petty political payback, thinking he can censure or fine Trump's opposition into submission. But I will not yield. Not one inch. And joining us now, Democratic Congressman Robert Garcia of California. He is a member of the House Oversight Committee and House Homeland Security Committee. Last month, he introduced the resolution to expel George Santos from Congress. Congressman Garcia, thank you for very much for being here. Congressman Santos is voting to censure Congressman Adam Schiff for investigating Donald Trump. Two of those people are federal criminal defendants, and the other is Adam Schiff. And, and crazy. I mean, this, the whole thing is just totally insane. I mean, obviously, George Santos is uh, a complete fraud and a liar. Uh, he should have been expelled from the Congress. I mean, just moving this to the Ethics Committee on Santos has been a total joke. And, and quite frankly, Kevin McCarthy has given away the keys uh, to folks that are literally have no sort of sense of policy or ethics like George Santos and like Marjorie Taylor Greene. And instead, they're trying to attack Adam Schiff. I mean, uh, Congressman Schiff is someone that always stands for truth, for justice, took on Donald Trump, the biggest con man to ever be uh, the president. Uh, and now here we are trying to deal with this really a waste of time on Congressman Schiff, where we should be focused on removing George Santos from Congress. And so Republicans sent the Santos case to the Ethics Committee. Today, the committee said it had issued more than 30 subpoenas. What's your take on the ethics investigation of Santos? I mean, look, I don't trust anything that Kevin McCarthy does. I mean, uh, McCarthy has tried to protect Santos this entire time. He got his caucus united to ensure that he wasn't expelled. Uh, we've asked uh, the speaker multiple occasions to give us a timeline, at least, in the Ethics Committee. Um, that hasn't been done. And so we have no confidence that Kevin McCarthy is actually going to do anything with George Santos. George Santos 
is the biggest fraud to serve in Congress, and he should be removed. He has access to classified information. He has access to our nation's secrets, and he's yet lied about everything about his life. I mean, the people back in his district elected essentially some, a complete fabrication. And so um, he should not be in Congress. And it's really shameful that Kevin McCarthy continues to support him. Uh, Congressman Garcia, let's listen to what happened on the House floor after the vote to censure Congressman Adam Schiff. The yeas are 213 and the nays are 209, with six answering present. The resolution adopted. Without objection, the motion to consider is laid on the table. House will be in order. So, Congressman, the Republican bet is that they can make serious consequences like censure and impeachment seem like just politics, something the party in power does to the party not in power. But do you think anyone other than MAGA voters will fall for it? I mean, look, I think that um, the country generally is growing tired of this Republican majority who absolutely do nothing for the American people. Uh, the folks that are leading the modern Republican Party are Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, and George Santos. And I think that is not appealing to a vast majority of Americans who actually just want us to get to work. We should be very concerned that a serial fraudster like George Santos serves every single day in the Congress and has an equal vote of everyone else in the Congress. Regardless of what happened with the bail today, I think there's a lot of questions that, have, that are really unanswered, uh, like exactly how were his family able to pay that bail amount? I think that's a fair question. That's a question that should be answered. And so he has a lot to account for. How can you actually already admit to a crime, which he has in Brazil, he's admitted to, to actually defrauding folks and still serving the Congress? I mean, it's ridiculous. It is time right now to bring that resolution back forward and to expel George Santos from Congress. One more quick, quick question for you. Um, has Speaker McCarthy then lost control of his conference, do you think, this week? I think he lost his control of the conference a few weeks ago. I mean, he, and, and not only did he lose the, the control, I mean, he gave the keys away to the most extreme MAGA Republicans in his entire conference. He has no control of his caucus. He can barely control the extreme fringes. And, you know, we'll see how long, how long he lasts or how long that extreme fringe actually gives him the power to do so. Uh, Speaker McCarthy has no leverage over this caucus, and they've gone completely over the rails.